In this video, I'm going to go over the peer review process and give you some strategies for responding to reviewers' comments. Peer review is a significant part of the scholarly conversation. Once you've decided to submit your work to a peer-reviewed venue, you've entered into the conversation and you are asking for feedback. Peer reviewers who have some expertise related to your topic are asked to take a look and respond to your work with critical and helpful comments. Remember that the peer review process can take a lot of time to complete. For journals, the average time from submission to acceptance is five months, with delays of over a year being common. Sometimes, editors will decide that your work is not suitable for the publication venue you've chosen and will reject your submission without sending it to peer review. This is called a desk reject and typically signals that your work did not follow the publication's guidelines or doesn't fit its aims and scope. At this point, you can rework your submission to fit the publication's aims and scope or consider submitting to another journal. If your work is sent for peer review, it will be shared with reviewers. Each publishing venue will indicate the type of peer review that your work will receive. Single anonymized review means that reviewers' names are hidden from the author. Double anonymized review means that reviewers and authors are unknown to each other. Triple anonymized review means that reviewers, authors, and editor are unknown to each other. Open review means that reviewers and authors are known to each other. Sometimes the word blind is used instead of anonymous. Many journals ask reviewers to apply one of four possible recommendations. Accept without revisions, accept with minor revisions, accept with major revisions, reject. Obviously, we all hope for accept without revisions and do not want to see a rejection. Generally, a requirement for minor or major revisions are most common. Some journals may also reject the submitted paper, but invite you to resubmit a significantly revised version. Not only will the editor send you the recommendation, they will also share the comments and critiques from the reviewers. The editor may also receive a confidential comment from the reviewer detailing their rationale or other critique related to your submission. What should you do with this feedback? First, take some time to think about the reviewer's comments. Do not be rash in responding. Second, note the deadline that the editor has set for returning the revision and meet that deadline. If the revisions are minor and acceptable, follow the instructions for resubmitting. If you are part of a team, you should consult the team. Finally, if the revisions are major and require time to reflect, take the time. Consult with advisors, co-authors, and mentors as appropriate. Do not rush to revise. You may receive reviews that are very negative or very positive on the same work. Be wary of reviews that ask for a complete revision leading to a totally different work. Sometimes, providing justification or reasoning is an acceptable response rather than changing or editing your work. Again, consult with your advisor, be prepared to defend your work, and be sure of what you have written. Always keep in mind that the reviewers are there to make your work better and improve your contribution to the scholarly conversation. It can be helpful to use a table or collaborative tool for a joint work to keep track of reviewer comments and your response. This table can also be part of your note to the editor. You are free to say no, this recommendation does not fit with my work and give your rationale. Remember, you know your topic. Talk to peers and mentors and ask for examples of how they have prepared for resubmission. When resubmitting, make sure you follow any instructions provided by the editor. In many cases, it may be useful to accompany your revision with a note to the editor. Once it has been resubmitted, you should hear from the editor if they are going ahead, and you will receive any further instructions on other steps that they might require. Congratulations! You are now a published author! It is hard to take rejection, but you should know that all writers receive rejection. Yes, even your advisor. Don't give up. Talk to your advisor and think about what comments you received and perhaps try again. It is all about learning. Take a look around our guide at libguides.ucalgary.ca slash publishing slash home.